do I see anything out of place? Any uh, like is anything open? Drawers open or something like that? You spot two things. Mm -hmm. The okay. first thing you spot is that there is something very odd with the wall behind the drawers, and that there is someone hiding under the bed. What? <laughs> How do you know this? <laughs> Is it? Can I tell that it is someone, or do I think it is something? You think it's a someone because you've no reason to presume it's something. How the fuck okay. Um, no one knows under the bed. Okay. I basically I I point my Tommy gun at the bed. I audibly, like I mean you know like pull back the thing to like <laughs> call it like not cock it but you know like load it through or yes. whatever. Make a sound and I basically say I say whoever is underneath there slowly, very slowly come out and show me your face and be aware that I will blow it straight off if you make any kind of movement. What are you going to do? I, I mutter a few swear words under my breath as I slowly pull myself out. You are I hold, my, I hold my hands up and say, I think you're probably the most aggressive homeowners I've ever met. Who? Can I come into the room as I hear this? Yep, as I hear you the can all come in. Uh, who is he looking at? Uh... Standing before him is a rather lanky little shit um, with a scruffy beard um, dressed completely in black. It's a homo uh, ninja. They're true. Yeah. He has a, very, a, a sort of a, a aggravated expression on his face at being caught. Uh, what age does he look? Uh, early 20s. Stravinsky softens visibly seeing him. <laughs> it's my elixir replacement. <laughs> you, you appear to have. Um, it doesn't take much for you guys to realize that you appear to have found a burglar. I I, ch I look at him like very carefully to make sure that he doesn't like that. There's nothing unhuman about him because even though if he seems to be a burglar, I know by now that nothing is what it seems. My eyes narrow as I notice I'm being looked over and say, "You expect." He appears to be human. You're expecting a woman? <laughs> I go, no, sorry, women usually expect me. Um, oh, God, what were you doing yeah. here? I mean, apart from obviously trying to rob this place. I look down at myself and then back up at him and say, do I need any other reason apart from to take things? Cutting away. Mm -hmm. What is Violet doing in this dining room? Uh, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the... I'm going to check behind all the paintings. Just in case. You do not find anything behind the paintings. Just in case. Um, do I resolve any information about the contents of the other paintings? No. Um, they're, um, the other paintings seem pretty ordinary. Uh, cool. That one is the only strange one. So looking around this room, pretty much, I've, I have I feel like I've exhausted the investigative possibilities. The, of the, only room, other th the only thing in there is the sword. Okay, I'm going to grab the sword. You grab the sword! Right! Because touching occult artifacts never goes wrong. Grabbing the sword. Let me see. Well, actually, it wouldn't supposed to be grabbing. I suppose you just probably want to look at it more closely. So Hold you it take up the, the light, sword. Kind of <laughs> yeah. You put the sword in your hands. You hear a very unusual sound from behind you. It sort of sounds like a <laughs> noise, as if something is coming up. That sound effect. I would like you to make me a sanity check. This is not uh, a this is not a noise you've ever associated ten. with anything. <laughs> I can't do shit rolls today. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna paste my history of rolls from the thing into the chat because this is ridiculous. I have I made like one roll which was no I made no roll over fifty today. Calling lies one. and slander. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm really good at this. Oh. Fucking talent, look at that. Man, yeah, another right. yes. one. That's the 20th in a row. Uh, <laughs> fucking wrecked. Right, let me see. Let me find the... Uh, Still good right now. Missing question that I... See, I even made Kiko. I even made Kiko roll the dice. And he still got good rolls. What is this shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's not wrong there. Well, however much right. he's paying you ain't enough. You, um... <laughs> are you going to turn around? I think at this point that's what you do when you hear a startling noise. Oh, good. Um, Violet, this creature yes. that is before you, and I say creature in the loosest of senses, what's your size? I'm, uh, size like 15. This thing is bigger than you. That's racist. This thing is about... Oh, sorry, no, I'm actually, I'm size 16. But you're about six foot something? 
Six foot five. This thing is over. <laughs> this thing is just slightly over seven foot tall. Ooh. It's Dome Reaper. <laughs> no. God damn it. No. Oh my god, that's so nice. You see how to read my dome. No. <laughs> so, this thing is over seven foot tall. Uh. It has a roughly humanoid shape. Mm -hmm. With the following exceptions. Its body seems to be made of a strange stone-like grey substance that is not flesh. It has no neck. It has no head. A small mound of flesh where the head would be with two bright red eyes piercingly staring at you. It has a genderless body. It's devoid of a mouth, nose, or any other human orifices. Instead of a left hand, there is a long, blade-like appendage. It's looking it, straight at you. Is roll, it moving? Roll me a sanity check. Again? <laughs> is it is moving? It, oh yeah, you had a sanity check for the noise, and now a sanity check for seeing it. 98. That's a fail. Finally. Wow, well, that's <laughs> yeah. a real fail. Oh, and you lost sanity. six points of sanity. That's okay, I had some to spare. You now need to make me an idea roll, not to go temporarily insane. I have an idea. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. 72. Is that a pass? No, it's not. My, idea, sure? my idea is my 75. Idea... That is a pass. Oh. Good okay. news, you gain five points of Cthulhu Mythos. Yes! Bad news, you go temporarily insane. That's gay. <laughs> does she make a noise? I'm going to decide what she does now by consulting this handy-dandy temporary insanity chart. Can I just say it would probably be something to do with uh, with being really cool? Violet menstruates I'm afraid you do not get that liberty. <laughs> going insane. Uh, this is not that kind of game. <laughs> In a fit of madness, I compose a symphony. No. Okay. I have a handy-dandy table here that I'm going to do for short-term insanity. You're quite lucky. You rolled a two. That flees in panic. Do I, do I? Am I continuing to hold the sword? You've not let go. Okay. But your first response is to run. But that, this, that's basically what I wanted to do anyway, so I'm make, in great position. Make me a luck roll. Uh, okay, let's do this. 37. You are luckily run towards the exit you came in from. <laughs> you are fleeing out of the house. You guys, however, hear a curdling scream from down below. It sounds like a woman's scream. Actually, no, it sounds like a man This is a man scream. She's like eight foot tall. It's the Ritsky. It's the Ritsky. He charges here. He I, charges there. I follow Shavinsky down the stairs. Mm -hmm. I say, Dan, Dan, I, I quickly say, Daniel, you'll soon see what we were talking about. Keep your wits about you. I then turn to that lanky shit in front of me. And <laughs> I, I say, and you... I don't care what you do, jump out of a window for whatever I care. Don't go down there. Get out of the house somewhere. And then I rush off after the other two. What I you... throw I throw Jack Loker a puzzled look as I run down. What are you going to be doing, Mr. McBurglar? I, I watched them flee out of the room, briefly wondering to myself how many people decided to break into this house tonight. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then... Well, he also has to scream, right? Shouldn't you be like, what? Yeah. Okay. And then... Uh, the scream has got me curious. I must admit. Are you going down? As I, I go and I take the knife off the off the side of the table, pocket it for later use, possibly to sell, mm -hmm. and then follow them just to see right, what the you're hell. you're following them. It. Okay. Um, good news, Violet. <laughs> you're running. Yes. You're running straight out of the house. I you have are, really long legs, FYI. You are running around the corner, and you stop. Near the near the uh, end of the exit way, where you literally just huddle down and start sobbing. No, come on! Can yes. I not at least have an inter Can I have screams internally? <laughs> you can scream internally as well. Okay, good. This I thing don't, I don't has. Want to I want to scream internally. On the one hand, this thing has. Um, you've been reading about this stuff, but actually seeing something uh, has completely warped and uh, your mind. Make me a Cthulhu Mythos roll with your newfound Cthulhu Mythos. 
If I were a mythical <laughs> You have no idea what you just I saw. I mean, to be fair, she did see, like, that other thing and the... You have no idea thing, what but you well. just saw at all. But you're not paying I just, attention to... I just feel upset that I've lost composure. Really. I mean, this is the major crime here. I lost composure. You're not paying attention, by the way, to if it's following you. You guys, you get to downstairs. Um... Am I seeing again yet, by the way? No. Nope. Okay. You are not. No, no, school, school. The door to the dining room is the only do the one you barge through to get upstairs is the only one that's open. No other doors have been opened. There is a door immediately to your right, and there are two doors on a further wall to the right. But there is the where was Violet in the dining room? You heard the scream from downstairs. Uh, you sort of ran off when you were in the kitchen and left her. Yeah. He's, he's, he's uh, old, so, but, so by the way, while houses, we rush down the stairs, mm -hmm. while we rush down the stairs, I pretty much like just shout, "Whatever you see, whatever it is, just shoot. Don't think, just shoot." <laughs> I go into the open door then. Don't, so, don't so. think, just shoot. This room is empty of people and swords. They didn't notice the sword. They, they didn't look. <laughs> and exactly, they don't know. <laughs> this room is a dining room with a nice table, some chairs, a few strange paintings on the wall, and you think you hear footsteps in the kitchen. Upon hearing Cliker's scream to shoot things, I wonder why my luck has been so sour today. Hmm. Well, being the first to run, Strabinski, of course, charges for the kitchen. You charge for the kitchen. Right. Um, Hi, -yo. Follow, follow, follow. Anyone else following? Uh, yes. Keep, yes, but keeping a very cautious distance. Right. So you're all able to see into the kitchen, pretty much. Yeah. Right. The creature that you see before you that turns around as soon as you come into sight. It's making is a, a sandwich. Is over seven foot tall, of humanoid shape. With stone grey skin that is not flesh, with no head, no orifices of any human origin, and just a small mound where the head would be with two gleaming eyes of red, and a left hand with not there, instead a large blade. Sanity checks for all involved. Pass. Ah. 20. 20 is a pass. 17. 17 is a pass. 14. 50. Mm hmm. So that's all passes. <clears throat> yep. Mm -hmm. Passes all round. Right. Uh, after seeing the creature, I suddenly come to a halt. Yeah, that's... Um, that's Again, something. I shout. Again, I shout. Don't think, just shoot. Don't think, just shoot. And I start shooting at it. I have to inform you guys that uh, even for passing, you all still lose a sanity point. Of course. I love how someone in the chat dies? actually just asked if the monster is an anime girl. I'm like, yes. Yes, it's an anime girl. It is not an anime girl. It's not an anime girl. That would shoot, require shoot a, between the eyes. That would require a much worse sanity check. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So everyone still loses stupid. one sanity. You everyone said, right? still loses one sanity for succeeding. <laughs> yeah, no. I know. Anyway, I, I just Kiko. I just shoot. You I just, just shoot. shoot. I yeah. see Kleika shoot and do the, pull my pistol and do the same. Right. Okay. Um, Dude, no, you have your gun. You have the shotgun. Um, I told you, I'm more, my character's more comfortable with the pistol, so naturally would grab a pistol. Using the pistol. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. So I need. Uh, if you're using a shotgun, are you, Mr. Clanker? No, I'm using a Tommy gun. I have then... no skill in that. I just have a handgun skill. Well, I'm have... literally... You have no I'm... skill in Tommy gun either, so... No, I'm literally, like I said, I'm literally... Um, just wailing on him. Emptying. I'm just emptying you're the... You're emptying, uh... right? You're burst yep. firing, then. Or whatever. I'm just emptying the whole fucking magazine into Excellent. that thing. Burst fire. Alright, let me get the... Uh... Right. Okay. I'd like you to roll me your submachine gun skill for me, please. The base is 15. That's doubled because 12. you're within uh, critical range. 12? 12. 12. 12. Well done. That's actually a pass. You're going to get submachine gun skill uh, potential here. I'm now going to roll to see how many shots actually hit. How many does it say for a Tommy gun? Bringing in the big guns here. They're like, here's a Tom, my Tommy gun. Tommy gun? I didn't expect you guys to bring a Tommy gun. I thought shotguns. 
Thompson. One or best. Right, let's roll a d8 and see how many shots actually hit. That is four. Um, who else is shooting? Out of I my am... entire magazine. You are literally spraying and praying. Aren't, there, aren't those like a hundred rounds? Like fifty if, at if least. If it's a drum magazine. Yeah. yeah. It'll be quite a lot. Um, I'm firing pistol. Yep, roll pistol. I, I rifle as well. Roll rifle. Uh, eight eight on my pistol. Eight! Wow! That is actually... What's your skill in pistol? 60%. That's actually a critical success there. You'll be dealing double damage. You'll be dealing double damage. Hooray! Hurrah! Let me just mark that down on handgun. Right, who else is rolling? What what were your results? Uh, you did? 69, and that's the pass. 69 is a pass. Uh, what about uh, Thief McThief? Jesus, I'm going to. Right I'm just skill? noticing everyone else pulling out their guns. I'm going to use this distraction to quickly check around the room to see if there's anything worth stealing. Just some paintings. They're quite big. Wait, so Ollie actually it. followed us? Yeah. Yeah. Ollie followed you. And and you also have to take a sanity check and everything. He saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, what I need to do now is, uh, I need you, the end, the, I need Ben to roll me a d10 for his damage. A 10, okay. A d10. Oh, no. Six. Right. I need, what gun did we agree that yours was, um, Mr. Stravinsky? It's a Mosin. It's a Mosin. Let's see if a Mosin is in here. What would it be equivalent to? A Lee Enfield rifle? A Lee Enfield or a K98, something like that. A Lee Enfield. A big, a big fucking yep, yep, huge hole in things. 2d6. 2d6. Seven. And I plus four. And I need Mr. Kleiker to roll me four separate instances of 1d10. Four instances, okay. Four separate one instances of 1d10. Okay, uh, number one? Yep. Seven? Yep. Number two? Mm -hmm. Four? Mm -hmm. Number three? Seven? Yeah. Uh -huh. And number four? And number four, okay, so seven, four, seven, four. Right, um, quite horrifyingly, um, Daniel, your bullet just bounces harmlessly off its skin. Boo. Uh, <laughs> Klyka, only one. Well, only your first bullet actually sinks into its flesh. Oh. Stravinsky, your Stop. bullet does sink into its flesh. Oh, yeah! I have some bad news for you, though. Ew. It is by no means down. It doesn't what? seem that phased by your volley of gunfire. How do we doing double damage, by the way? Okay. Oh, wait. Yes, you are right, actually. Sorry. You you d you did do double damage, Ben. Yours does Woo! go in. My bad. Hooray! But it, doesn't, yeah. but it still doesn't seem to have bothered it too badly. Boo. Uh. It's its turn. It has a very 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 simple strategy. It moves up to you. Who's the one that's closest? That would be me. That would be Stravinsky. It moves up to Stravinsky and tries to slash at him. With its sword like arm. Its sword like arm shatters against Stravinsky's Russian bulk. No, it doesn't. <laughs> against Stravinsky's Russian moustache. <laughs> Doesn't Stravinsky have a really good do um, dodge skill? It hits. I would have to dodge for that. You would have yeah. to actually dodge. I attack. Yeah. yeah, if you attack first, you if you dodge, you can't attack, but if you attack first, you forgo dodge. Fair enough. You're quite lucky in that it only dealt one point of damage, as you actually only skims your um, arm. Flesh wound! <laughs> Weakest <laughs> motherfucking thing in the world. Now, it is all of your guys' turns. Am I still am I still being crazy? You are still being crazy. Disappointing. Uh, 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 this... I, decide, I decide that with no means of stealing anything, and especially with some horrific creature, I decide to pull out my um, sawn-off shotgun oh, that I've been concealing. This could end really poor. Yes. Shotgun skill minus seven. I just, I, just had a th I just had a thought, right? Since we're that mm. close, uh, uh, what are the chances of missing if I use a shotgun with like the zippo skill? Your uh, your chance to hit is doubled. 
well, uh, then Daniel Daniel like pulls the shotgun round that he was keeping on his back with the mm-hmm. nice harness and uh, points it at the creature. Yep, and fires. Roll shotgun. What's the base shotgun? Fifteen. Thirty, I think. Base shotgun's thirty. So, so it'd be sixty. So it'd be sixty. Yeah. Uh, sixteen. Ooh. Fuck! I, I should have taken like a fucking shotgun. That's gonna be a check with the good old fashioned shotty as well when we're done. Uh, I'm gonna roll you some damage. What kind of gu- shotgun do we have here, by the way? Uh, Miss Violet, what was it? <laughs> it this, this this is basically it's a trench shotgun, so it'd be loaded with um, buckshot, basically. Is it double barreled pump, semi-auto. It's a it, it's a pump action shotgun from the first old. Yeah, it's not school pump action. I think it's he's trench, trying trench to buckshot. find something. Okay, he I'm can gonna roll you it some damage. It's the kind of shotgun that disintegrates anything about two feet. It's exactly actually what happens. You uh, basically blow a hole through the thing's chest, and it melts into the floor. Whoa. Do I not need to well, roll any further for that, or did you do that? I rolled for the damage. Okay, cool. You you blast a hole in its stomach, and it melts into the floor. Daniel looks extremely surprised. <laughs> Stravinsky exclaims to the heavens, Easy! The house goes silent. Daniel uh, sits down in the nearest chair. <laughs> yes, you just encountered a whatever that was. Stavinsky I... charges out <laughs> looking for Violet. I stare at the people and reconceal my shotgun before asking it's, them, um, why are you doing this? What it's the not hell? hard to find Violet. Going outside around the corner, you see Violet only just starting to regain her composure. Stravinsky rushes up and hugs her. It's all right. Oh. I've, got some good uh... news. I've got some good news for you, uh, Violet. Mm-hmm. Uh, they get more Cthulhu Mythos. You're, you, you already have Cthulhu Mythos, but uh, oh, you're, you're, you're now in control. <clears throat> well, I'm obviously going to pretend that nothing happened. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you are obviously. holding a sword, though. But that's sensible. That is very sensible. I had to run away with the sword for safekeeping. It was a sensible, considered decision. Yes. <clears throat> yes. I'm keep telling myself that. <laughs> Quite. She seems all right. While this was happening, I assume I just suddenly heard this lanky Ollie man. Yep. I hadn't really met him before, and I point my um, still smoking, horribly smoking shotgun at him. It's not your day, is it? I just simply sigh and say, "Look, I don't care why you people are here. I'm just here for money. Just." Ugh. I don't say anything, but merely just sort of stare. If nothing, I basically you... uh, yeah. Sorry. If nothing to you guys, it's another, it's another shield. <laughs> I turn, I turn to Daniel and I say, Daniel, I know you didn't believe us before, but from what you've just seen, even if you don't understand it, none of us understood it when we first saw something like that. You now know what we were talking about, right? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I just saw, nor do I have any idea what I just blew to pieces on the kitchen floor. I'll be honest with you, none of us have any idea what we're actually dealing with, but we know that we can kill them. Now we have no idea, see? Oh, Kiki, do we get any mythos boots for that? You only gain a mythos point if you fail your sanity check and go temporarily insane. Okay. The first instance, you gain five points, and every other instance afterwards, you gain one. I got in five points though for this you one. You did. So you had five percent. Now you have ten. Yay! Oh, so I'm still at zero. Am I? You're still at zero. You have to actually. <laughs> so... You have to actually either read a mythos tome, go nuts, or another unexplained scenarios. But you oh, you no... can't like you can't like investigate the creature or whatever. What creature? It's oh, what's left of the? Oh, yes, yeah, nothing yeah. left. It's, it's, go- it's goo, isn't it's it? It's yeah. gone. It's gooed. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It's just cool. So, uh, what are you doing now? Strabinsky is uh, trying to reach up to pat Violet on the head while still no. vigorously hugging her, going, it's it's okay, it was just... I obviously, it's, I obviously it's push suit. him away because he's a small, smelly Russian man. It's, it's slop now. <laughs> and I march right into the house because I'm going to find some motherfucking books. I, uh, I again turn to Ollie and I say that this should be, like, enough to get you out of this house, so just get out. You know, like, after seeing that, that should be enough to get you out, so just get out. We can't take care of you. I turn to Daniel and I say, let's meet up with Violet and Strabinsky. Uh, uh, I, I wish to use this. Things. I wish to use this uh, opportunity to just glare at Clyde and, and just tap pat the concealed shotgun and say, "I'm I'm not going anywhere. There's money to be found here. It's I, not I'm your just, house. You don't care." In the, uh, in response to that, as I stand up, I sort of say to uh, Jack Clyde, "Perhaps, maybe he's taken something from the house. We might need to have a look at." 
Yeah, or perhaps we just need another meat shield. All right, you stay, but you stay in front. Yeah, meat shield. I he's look up, at my slender is, is paint and say, "You want me to stand in front?" I when want you to stand in front. Apparently, drugged people like that thing that we just killed. You know, out there, Charlie. Drugged people. Well, what else explanation is there? It's just some hemorrhoid man that's. Hemorrhoid. <laughs> no head. Um, Mr. Burglar, should... you just stay in front of us and check out the rooms before we go in, and you'll be sure to see a lot more hemorrhoid men. Come on, let's go. Right. So, I meant steroid, sure. Sh Shaminsky and Violet are back in the kitchen. <laughs> All these monsters have extremely poor innocence. Vi Viking, yes. uh, like, uh, not Viking. Quite Violet the general. Viking, sorry. Violet is walk walked back it's in fitting. defiantly it's, into it's the kitchen. Fitting. She's She's holding a sword. I'm still holding a sword. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep holding the sword until at some point I don't want to hold the sword anymore, but I'm going to keep holding it. She's holding a sword. Looks very well made. <laughs> Thank you. Might so be made a myself, masterwork. Yeah. Plus one, sir. <laughs> Do you think it can hold a strong enchantment? I don't know. Okay, good, good. Um, I'm going to obviously look for another room which will explain what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so are you guys moving as a group now? Uh, no, Does Violet give... voice this openly, or...? No, I'm not telling them shit. Yeah, Open my mouth, okay. I might say something stupid. Obviously, I have to pretend to be as composed as possible, because that's what no. you do if you just failed epically. Violet, Violet, you just screamed, and we took out what I guess was the reason for you to scream. So, did you do anything to, I don't know, summon this thing? I picked up this sword off the wall. Pick up a sword and mark it? Yeah, pick up the sword off the wall. Yeah. You picked up where this sword you're holding. Yes. And do you think that's what did it? Uh, well, the moment I touched it, I heard a sound. Turned around, it was right there. So the assumption has to be either that it, the sword is warded or the sword is, is in and of itself magical. One of the two. Mm. I'm going to take this chance to go back upstairs and start opening more doors. Right! Strabinski, however, remains I'm look in the kitchen. Sorry. I'm going to check the next room, whatever would come after the... Yeah. Uh, the dining room. Dining room. Right, guys, let's stick together. That burglar man there, let's just let him go upstairs. If he starts screaming, at least we know there's another one of those things right. up there. So, uh... uh Stravinsky doing the thing that he does when he's shaken. And to be honest, he's not been this shaken before. He starts uh, cooking. Excellent. Starts cooking. Make me, an, uh, make me a cooking uh, roll. I do believe that you <laughs> actually have uh, craft cooking. Off you go. 18. Cooking mama. He's making, he's making goulash, by the way. You start cooking goulash. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? I'm not uh, kidding. He has 40% crap cooking. I'm, I'm, cook I'm looking through the fucking doors upstairs. I want more money. What about the rest of you guys? Daniel, Daniel shakily uh, follows Violet through the next door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's just like casually cooking. Okay. Let's um, go. So the, there's three of you that are Sweating, casually cooking. exploring. Uh, one's cooking and one's looting. The three people that are looking, uh, you come out of a dining room. This corridor is an L shape. You're at the bottom of the L. Uh, far ahead of you is what you think might be the front door. And down that corridor near the front door is a double door on the right-hand side. By the door, by, by the stairs, sorry, leading up, are three doors. You think two of the doors lead to small rooms. Uh, I'll check one of the doors. Closest one? Yeah. Okay, closest door... Uh, Carefully yeah. check one of the doors. You open the door. This is a simple closet. Anything of interest inside? Not that you could see. Okay, and the other doors? Uh, Violet opening the next one? Yep. The next door is a bathroom, which has been apparently kept Im immaculate. There are a few signs of dust starting to settle, though. This is a plumbed bathroom. There is runny water. You is notice it? with your occult roll that there is a very trashy occult novel by the toilet, seemingly <gasps> half read. I check it for occult significance. Trashy as in pulp, or, or... trashy as in not very well researched. Oh, I see. Not not oh, not, not like smutty kind of like tra no. trash readings. Or no, like. Do I this... do I throw it down in disgust? You uh, <laughs> well, it doesn't. You go straight to the bibliography. The sources are all wrong. They've not been referenced properly. That this guy is, on is space. The guy's nineteen. That oh my guy, god! That guy's a hoax. That guy doesn't know what he's talking about. This is rubbish. 
I'm going to tear the book in half using my elephantine man hands. I will let you do that. There is a Thank third you. door if uh, Kleiker wants to open that door. I will, yes. This door is a room appears to be um, a room for servants, you think. There's a double bed and two separate wardrobes. One of them is open and you can see low-class garb. Man's okay. Garbs. Uh, Anything else of uh, notice? Yes, actually. Um, you notice that there appears to be evidence that there was a slight struggle here at some point. Okay, what kind of evidence? There's a bit of blood on the floor. Is it obvious like human blood? It's, it's like red. red. Yeah, okay. Uh, does it lead anywhere? Is it, is it just no, a few drops just a or small, is it the trail? It's just a small quantity. There are some books by uh, a side table. I take a quick look at the books. I would inform you that if you choose to take these books, after a week of reading, you believe you would be able to make a check on any of the following skills: art tea making, art cleaning, and electrical repair. Excellent. I if you read them. Take a look at the books, scoff a little bit at these commoner practices, and then art I uh tea making, brilliant skill. And then I uh decide to leave the room because there doesn't seem to be anything here. While you guys have opened those doors, what's Looty McLoot man doing? I've gone into the library and started having a gander through all of the books. Right, uh, there's library. Is anything of worth? There is a library. Yes, I'm uh, Did, did library... anybody tell me this? Or is make it a library use that? roll. Sorry, too busy with monsters. Oh shit! Useless. Libraries. Twenty-one. Ooh, well done. Um, the, the only things that you can find of any significance in here is that there appears to be a pretty old occult book on the table by the chair. Uh, can do I can I see the name of this book from here? Um, uh, yes, actually, give me a moment to turn the light on. <laughs> you got to the light on it and can't see the book. Shit. Can't can't see in the library. Shit. It's dark, son. It's getting dark. It is. Right. It's so the then... reason for the darkness, Daniel. It's because it's getting late. <laughs> oh. It's getting late in here. Anyway. Right. This book is called. Uh. Oh, Booty this called, is called Malus Maleficarum. Do you uh. speak Latin? No. Wait, Malus Maleficarum? Yes. Hammer of the Witches. Out of character. Yes. Sh- but that book is full of shit. I'm reporting. Do you speak, ge- do you speak, ge- <laughs> do you speak German? Uh, my character does not speak German. Does, uh, does, does Ollie's character speak German? But it was written in Latin. Yeah. Da, but da, this yeah, is da, a 1906 cool. print. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm reporting everybody. Not even the elite. Because um, you see Malus Melvagarum, and then it says uh, underneath, De Hexenhammer. De <laughs> Hexenhammer. You think I'm making this up? No, no, no. It's, 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 abs- it's a completely true book. and it's, it, This is the book that contains the famous assertion that women are more likely to be witches than men because when the devil turns up and tries to seduce them, their natural carnal nature stops them from being able to resist him. Whereas if a man sees a beautiful woman appear, he's just like, no, my higher nature means I do not have to... I can resist your blandishments. And this is why all the women were witches because they were too busy consorting with Satan and having a great time. So um, men are well known only, for their restraint, aren't they? The only book exactly. you see is De Hexenhammer that sort of, you think might be of any value. I, I make a mental note because old book can generally sell quite well considering the place. So I make a mental note not to lug it around for now, but I shall probably grab it on my way out. <laughs> Your stomach like it. <laughs> so, uh, what next for you? Because <laughs> you get to make another action. Uh, I shall probably go downstairs and see what the others are up to. Because oh. I was after. Okay. Uh, purely, be- <laughs> purely because after seeing the steroid man from last time, I'm cautious and would rather have more people. What are you guys now doing? Can hear Strabinsky coming still one in the more kitchen. Door on this level that you have not been into yet. I Guap, will, since stop. I only checked that cupboard. Go up, stop. Oh, sorry. Did you want to? No, I'm just go up, stopping. He's just oh, go up, stop. <laughs> um, in that case, I'll check it out since I only had a cupboard. You'll open the door. Right. Carefully. Open the door. Carefully. Right. Shakily. This room is empty of people. This is a spacious living room. It's it empty a... of creatures. So far, <laughs> it has a fireplace and a selection of four chairs around it, as well as a table for serving tea on. There are various pictures of people um, on the walls. You have no idea who they are. And there is a painting of a mountain landscape. There is a locked cabinet in the farthest corner of the room. A locked cabinet? Can I approach the cabinet? Yeah, it's locked. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Mick. You can Um, tell it's locked because there's a padlock. What sort of padlock? 
Doesn't look very strong. Uh, could I smack it off the butt of the gun? You could certainly try. Uh, well, how um, I, I mean, am I in a room yet? Is it, or? Hmm? Is it like am a rust lock or a beast lock? You're going to have to try. You, you don't. Am, have am I in, am I in the room yet? Uh, no, you've just got down the stairs. Okay. These guys are probably following uh, Daniel. I take it. Uh, I briefly look round to see if there's a key just handy on top of the cabinet, and then I smack it with the Do back you of the. Roll? Yes, yes, there is actually. There's a key on the table. Cool. Well, then I use the key. <laughs> what are you? What are the other two doing at this point? I'm heading into the room where Daniel is. Mm -hmm. And you're heading into the room where Daniel is as well, Violet? Uh, I assume so, because I don't know about the library you in character. You <laughs> open the door, and inside is a 12-gauge shotgun. And a box that you think contains about 15 shotgun cartridges. Plus two. That's all that's in there. Sounds pretty good. 12-gauge shotgun. Is there, anything, is there anything in this room that looks like it might have any occult significance whatsoever? You can make me a uh, art painting roll if you have it. Art painting. Yeah, I do not have art painting. Five percent if anyone wants to make art painting roll. But I do have occult. Try and make me one. Uh, my occult is 82. I roll 34. You recognize some of the pictures of minor occult, pe uh, occult experts. Uh, you think they're incidental pictures of like meetings of people in like sort of social gatherings. Okay. What, what was in the cabinet, sorry? Uh, a 12 gauge shotgun with a box of about 15 cartridges. Plus two. I I called to Jack Lycus and mentioned that he. Uh, you wanted a, uh, a shotgun, didn't you? I did want a shotgun because my Tommy gun is out of bullets anyway. Like, I was only like carrying that around for posterity, so I kind of just throw Assuming... it down. Well, assuming this, shotgun shotgun isn't shotgun. Going to, assuming this shotgun isn't going to spawn any devilry, perhaps you should take it. Well, I'll take it out of the cupboard, so you watch my back when I do. If you hear any weird noises, remember, shoot first, think later. You going to take, take a shotgun? shotgun. Yep. Nothing happens. S Steely McSteel Man, what are you doing? Um... I note this shotgun. Wonder if that will actually be turned on me again. Mm. And well, as I go I, I in, you go upstairs I, I, the library. You go upstairs. No, I came down. Uh, oh, it, sorry, fair enough. Are you going upstairs? What? There's nowhere else uh, to explore down here. So exactly, exactly. I'm, if, if, I'm, I'm going to go upstairs. Ask him if he's seen anything on the way up. I say uh, the room that they found me in, the uh, hidden, hidden thing behind bookcase. There's <laughs> also a massive library. <gasps> library. He mentions the library, library. Goes and you library. completely ignore hidden thing behind the bookcase. Um, completely blanking it. You Fuck go that. to the library, library, there is a book on the table. You don't even need to roll a cult to see that it looks pretty old. It, it looks pretty valuable. Do you want to go look at it? Absolutely. Uh, you do not need to... Um, make me a Latin roll. Uh, Latin, let's go. Latin, three. Okay, you get a check on Latin. This is... Wow, you, you um, are quite happy to see this book. Which book is it? This is indeed the Hammer of Witches. I don't read Latin for that. I fucking read it when I was twelve. Originally a fifteenth <laughs> originally a fifteenth century book. You, however, decipher that this is a German translation written in nineteen oh six. De Hexen Hammer. Ah. Excellent. You know that this is a a guide of, for inquisitors in the Middle Ages on the identification and. Uh, torturous persuasion of witches. You know as well that this terrible book helped send an estimated nine million people to their deaths. <laughs> well, I mean, of course, historically, that's a grotesque overestimation, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> you think this would be fascinating occult reading? <laughs> I, I absolutely grab it. You grab uh, is, the book! Is this, is this the world where Malleus Maleficarum is less famous? Uh, no, no. Uh, just, okay, fine. No, this guy just has a copy of it. Well, it just seems weird that my character hasn't already read it. Because it's like if you were if you were to literally it's like look at witches, called 101, pretty much. yeah, it's pretty much just like this is the book that invented the concept of the witch as a real evil well, concept in the mind of the European. Flicking through this book, you notice the thing that might make this interesting for you is that this has uh, notes in the uh, <gasps> margin notes. Yes, margin notes. Yes, there are margin notes by the translator, like the guy translating. So that's what makes it interesting for you. Excellent. What are the rest of oh, you doing? Check on my version. It's got extra notes. Uh, uh, if I speak to the thief. Hmm? Uh, so, we, when we originally heard a noise, assuming that was you, what were you doing? 
I mean, that was like a, a loud noise. Well, I was looking through one, the bedroom where you found me, and whether you noticed or not, behind one of the shelves was a part of wall that looked interesting. No, no, Having, what do you mean? A uh, hidden passageway, more than likely, probably where fam a house of this sort of grandeur would usually keep their valuables. You, you let us search have... through the entire house without telling us? Houses normally have secret passageways. <laughs> houses this... Oh, houses like this. I mean, why do you think I'm here? I, I know my shit I, when it comes to I ceiling. walk off into the room that he just mentioned has the secret passageway. I, I ask the thief if you can take me there. Yeah, I, t I show them the way. Along the way, I say, by the way, my name's Daniel, and I offer my hand. Well, I shake his hand and say, I'm E. Died. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and e. Died. Is, that your first, died. is that your first name, Mr. E. Died? Edward is my first name, but most people just call me E. So, whatever, whatever works. All right, then uh, we go up to the room. <laughs> I guess. Eduardo. Right, you go up to the Eduardo. room. Um, are you pointing it out? Yep, I show them the uh, way to the room. Violet is just hanging around the library, isn't she? Yeah. Can, 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 can I do a, a library use roll to see if I can find anything else? Certainly can. 66. 66? Well, you find something else of any particu of, of particular interest. Oh, well, my library uses 77. Sick. <laughs> yeah. You uh, find a similar book, um, not too far away from De Hex and Hammer, called The Witch Cult in Western Europe. It's in English by Dr. Margaret Murray. Written this year. This is a modern English um, book with a dust jacket. <gasps> so new. You is it signed by the author? No. You That's flick through and it connects, uh, it connects the so-called covens of the Middle Ages, the covens of the Middle Ages with pre-Christian beliefs, surviving as superstitions, or in a more organised sense, driven underground by the church. Excellent. You note that this book is admittedly often found in libraries and bookstores, but you haven't read it because it's quite new. Excellent. Well, I'm going to claim it anyway. I'm just stealing all books. <laughs> claim it. <laughs> it's going. You, it's going in the pile. You guys um, are. You're immediately pointed out, I imagine, by uh, E died. <laughs> the bit of wall that looks a bit odd. So, uh, like that. Uh, that picture, fuck you. <laughs> so, uh, we pull out the cabinet that was making the noise in the first place then to get to the wall. Yep. Uh, what's odd about this wall is that, yes, there does seem to be something behind it that's odd. Um, something's odd about the wallpaper. It's as if it's covering something not flat. I f pull pull out my flick knife and start putting. I it on use the, the knife I took earlier and start cutting open it. Is anyone else doing anything in particular? In here is a, uh, uh... a drawer and a side table, some drawers and a side table. Well, like well, uh, well, we want to yeah. open that thing, right? Yeah, you can try and open this thing first. Yeah, I want to open it. Right. Um, you eventually, with the flick knife, get enough of the wallpaper off to reveal that there is a uh, a. St Strange, slightly glowing sign under the wallpaper. What's the sign? glowing sign? It's a blue star. Am I still uh, pottering around in the library? I shout, yeah. I shout for Violet. I ask if anyone's ever seen this before. I say no. Uh, no, I haven't. Anyone's free to make a cult rolls. Okay, well, I, I, I guess I'll come wandering yep. over. You see a yeah. blue star on the wall. You get to make both an occult roll and a Cthulhu Mythos roll. Okay, 53 for occult. Uh -huh. 60 for Cthulhu Mythos. No. So no. Occult for anyone else? I've got, I've got history. No, that <laughs> won't help I don't you. have a cult, no. You can still roll. Nah. Okay. You know that uh, you believe occultist belief is that this is some kind of warding symbol. It's strange that it's glowing. Okay. God damn it, Clark. <laughs> I, I look at them and I'm like, I think this is magic. Uh, did you? Could you tell by the glowing? I remark sarcastically. <laughs> <laughs> I nod sagely. You all completely note, uh, not noticing the sarcasm. <laughs> you all note that this wall that seems to be behind the wallpaper seems to be made of a very different substance to what a standard interior wall would be made out of. Strabinsky would like to, to stuff as well, by the way. Would like to what? And you still cooking? Well, uh, well, he's goulash needs to uh, yeah, boil, can, boil for a bit. To, so uh, you're uh, free to do while the goulash boils. He's uh, he's uh, put the uh, the thing over and uh, first he sees it looks. Is there anything left of the monster that died? Is there any slop on the Absolutely floor? Absolutely nothing. 
It just vanished, all of it. It didn't just, just melt just into... It dissolved. Okay, Completely then he dissolved. just grabs his rifle and goes upstairs. Right, uh, you hear a commotion somewhere in the room on the left. Upstairs. Yeah, it goes to the commotion. You see that they're looking at a glowing blue symbol star on a wall. Roll a cult. Uh, like. oh shit, okay. I have nothing. Well, you can still roll if you want. 64. You have no idea what this is. There's no <laughs> obvious mechanism to open this, if it's meant to open. Maybe we have to say something? Maybe we have to put something on it? Why? Have what we, is it? Have Ele electricity? The, have we searched all the other rooms? No, you haven't. No, not yet. Okay, I'm going I to say to you. There's also some drawers and a side table in this room as well. Uh, I, I will open I, the drawers. I, I at at, at Daniel's question, I basically turn to him and I say, Daniel, there aren't just weird things. There are also... Violet, how would you say it? Let's just say that a, around 2% of what has been written on the occult is true. And unfortunately, that means that some of it is actually true. Daniel, what so you want to say is that there's then. magic. Right. Who's examining right. the tables? Just roll I'll, with me. I'll examine the drawer. <laughs> right. Um, you examine the drawer and you find... What do you find? A journal. Ooh, ooh, uh, I'm the best at reading. I pass it to Violet. <laughs> yeah. Even Daniel by uh, now knows that books go to Violet. <laughs> As Queen I Literacy, Empress of Reading. To... <laughs> well, I take would, this would I... to go open one of the other doors. I'm not sure I'd deny the book to the six foot seven woman anyway. <laughs> she has two guns as well at this point. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, it does not take you too long to flick through this book if you want to leave uh, a couple of minutes to go to the more relevant sections. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, hang on. Um, quick question out of character. Luke, yep. what, how tall is your character again? Uh, well, I'm size 16, and I decided to make my character oh, taller than Matt. So I'm you're the same tall... size as me, then. This makes me happy. Well, I, I'm as tall as that would be if you're not fat, basically. <laughs> Great. Now we're looking forward to a scene of giant porn. <laughs> nice, nice. Yes. By the way, while pods. she's reading the book and the others are still looking through the room, mm. I kind of step out of the room and keep an eye on the stairs. Yep, nothing seems to be coming up or down. Well, just like I'm just holding guard. This much. is a uh, a book that is been this this is a change a journal in a crazy people's place where the writing is very legible and well organized. How do I feel about the uh, right up the until you get to the more recent entries where they come in slightly small scroll writing? Uh, make me a psychology roll as you read this as I read this to you. Who who me? Yeah, make psychology. You're the one reading. Okay, um, 53. No, 18. <laughs> My character has the psycho psychological aptitude of an autistic mayfly. Like, no, not pass it. Why not pass it to Daniel? You don't. She doesn't realize that she, she doesn't know what she's missing. <laughs> these, uh, these, in, these, um, accounts are written, uh, moderately, um, recently. The third of these is actually dated to, uh, four days before now. So this one is based, the first one is two weeks before today the diary entry. What a wonderful find! A marvellous find! I haven't seen such astounding things for so long and for it to be right under my feet! And the words! The words! I have to study this further. I have to figure out these secrets. Who knows what I can uncover with from all this? The smiths are trying to pry into my business. Say I'm too absorbed in old words and pointless books. Incident fools. Kindred this, soul. This one, the next entry, is five days before now. Such wonders! I think I have found a common symbol within the writing, and I think I've managed to decipher it. If I have, then this is even more astounding than I thought it would be. These are rituals of some kind, and their methods appear so simple that anyone could use them, even that blasted fool smithy. The first works merely with a small cut to the chest, eyes closed. Speaking the word, you can't pronounce it, it's not in any language, but you could maybe phonetically say it, will do. Whatever it is meant. What is it meant to do? I'm, I'm not even sure if the word's pronounced like that, but if it is, the next entry is the next day. The other ritual is even more basic, perhaps deceptively so. Kneeling down, eyes closed, apparently the word, another indecipherable word, will do. Something. Have I got this right? I can't be sure. Perhaps I could test these on someone. I know uh, but... just the person. By the way, Kiko, given I know ancient Greek, Latin, Akkadian, ancient Egyptian, and Sumerian, I still have no idea what these words Maybe are. Maybe an Egyptian roll. Oh, Egyptian, okay. Uh, ancient Egyptian, 60%. Okay, let's see what we can get. Let's see what we roll. We roll 
a fatty 34. Uh, is that a pass? Oh, wait, no, that's good. No, that's a pass, yeah. It's yes, you, uh, <laughs> you know that these are... You, you can't identify the words because they're not Egyptian words. But they are written in the Egyptian language style. They don't mean anything to you, though. You could say them. You would be able to say them. Make me an intelligence roll. Roll. Um, just roll D100. Tell me what you get. Sorry, who's rolling this? This is uh, the person reading. Ah, which would be Luke. Which would be Violet. Lou. Lou. Violet is BFK. too absorbed in her books. <laughs> Quick, don't give her a prod. Go up, stop. Oh, no, 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 no. Go oh up, shit, stop. sorry, what? <laughs> my, mic, my, mic, my mic had fallen out, and I was talking, I was like, why can't they hear me? You need me, me to make, uh, it, did you make that intelligence roll? What did you roll, D100? Uh, nine. I would like you to note the following things down in spells. Oh, uh, okay. Standing uh, ritual and crouching ritual. Uh, I don't have a spell section, but why not? Standing ritual and crouching ritual. Correct. You would know how to do these spells. Is this written in, like, hieratic or something? Uh, it's just written in... I would say yes. Okay, cool. But those words, they're not, like, words you know. Yeah, they're, they're not Egyptian the same... words, it's they're... just phonetically using the alphabet. Yeah, they're written in that language, yeah. So, yeah, you have um, that. But back to the door. If there is one. You, doesn't, mm. you don't think it opens from this side. You can't open it. What, no, one, of the do one of the doors I can't open. There's no mechanism for this weird blue symbol thing with this weird wall. You're oh. pretty sure it's a door. Armed with this information, what next? There are other door rooms you have not yet investigated. I've gone to open up one of the other doors. Yeah, which door? One's uh, down, one down a side corridor or the next room along? Next room along. Next room along? You'll be love to know what this is. I'm going to open it very carefully. because It's I'm a closet. Just... <laughs> Fuck. Anything interesting in the closet? There's a broom. Oh, charming. Nothing else. My dream come true. Okay. I, I will the open the... Floor. Oh, well. Anyway, go, well, go, go, go for it. I was going to say, I'd, I'd, I'd follow Ollie down and open the next door then. You're opening the next door. Oh. This is a study. This is where Violet goes... <gasps> with an elegant desk and chair, a small bookcase, and a potted plant. You see a, small, a small pack <laughs> of cigarettes on the table. Um... Going to make a roll for you. Nope. Hmm? The desk does not. Uh, the desk doesn't uh, look like it's got too much on it. There's a small piece of paper. Okay. Boss, can I look at the paper? Yeah, it's a telegram. Addressed to who? Addressed. It's not addressed to anyone. And what does it say? Uh, oh, only he's reading it, but I will tell you what it says. Done research into history of area. Stop. Mining accident in 1854. Stop. Caused cave in of cave system. Stop. We'll research further for you. Stop. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I take the telegram, put it in my pocket. No, take the camera, put it in your pocket. Uh, anything else you want to look at? I have to tell you that your erstwhile burglar has noticed that there is something awry with one of the walls in this room, too. I mention this and then take out the knife I took earlier and start um, prying away. I follow suit. What's the rest of them doing? Uh, have I finished reading? Yes. Okay, I'm going to clearly go to the study. You, <laughs> you, you see a room to the left that's open, which is a closet, and then you see a study. <laughs> Javinsky Monsters. follows, slack jawed. What about Klyker? Uh, hmm. I follow Violet into the follow study. Follow Violet into the study. Right. Um, Violet spots the pack of cigarettes on the table. And uh, the ashtray for the cigarettes... <laughs> while... These are called cigarettes? The ashtray, while it has cigarettes in it, the cigarettes are old and have not been smoked for a very long time. In this room is a small bookcase, an elegant desk and chair, and a potted plant. Smoked plant. <laughs> how's, the, how's the plant doing? The plant appears to be behind the in front of the strange wall. Um... Yeah, but is it wilted? Mm hasn't been given water for a while. Uh. Okay, but, what's on, on, but inside, this is a study and there is a desk. You mentioned there was some paper on it. Yes. Um, is there anything other than the telegram? 
well, there's nothing on there now because the telegram's been taken. God damn it, I didn't even... So, so I, I, I go into a study, I'm like, oh, there's going to be so much paper in here, it's going to be... No paper. <laughs> no paper. No paper. So are you going with at this wall with your knife? I'm going at the wall yeah. with the sword. Oh, you're going at the wall with the sword? Yes. It doesn't oh, take long to get the wallpaper off. There is another like... one of those strange signs. Is it this... the same? Yes. This, this side has a handle in the wall to open the door. I ask our thief if this is one of his normal secret passages. No, this is not normal. <laughs> he normally only uses the back passage. Norm Ooh, yeah, exactly. Normally these things are a lot smaller and conceal smaller spaces. This seems like... You've, you looking in the closet know that there is, a, there is unaccounted for space behind that closet that will have to be a different room. Because you looked in the closet. This clo mm. The closet mm. was too small. I mentioned this to the followers, uh, to the fellows as well. I'm, st I'm still tempted to. I'm actually tempted to open this door. Well, can we open it? Is it openable? Yes, it seems door. to be. Who else? Well, who's in the room by the door? Um, it, well, me and um, mm -hmm. we're all, we were chipping away at the wallpaper that night, yep. so it'd be yeah. just... I as well. Yep. What about Clyker? Uh, well, I'm there too. Uh, like I said, I follow Violet. Yep. So you opening the door? Carefully opening the door. You carefully yeah. open the door. Right. Get to describe this room to you all. This room is plain and windowless, and the floor is covered in dust. What's probably more of a note to you guys is the zombies on the southern side of the room. <laughs> what? Two of them, and a man I'm... sit and the man sitting in a corner, on the um, side closest to you. I will briefly describe the man to you, and then I will ask you to make sanity rolls. <laughs> the two zombies, by the way, um, appear to be um, quite fresh. Are they moving? Yes. I'm assuming we found our missing people. I know what I'm doing. Uh, let me just let me find the description of the person. Oh dear fucking god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, this person. Oh, where is he? He's somewhere around here. There he is. This is a ma No, that's not him. That's, that's Sam. This is a man in his late 50s. He is... Ha he looks haggard and poorly shaven. A slightly ravenous and unsettling look in his blue eyes as if he's very hungry. He's wearing a battered black suit and a slightly out-of-fashion fedora with a slightly off-colour to the rest of the suit. He looks quite scared. And oblivious okay. to what's happening. Sanity rolls, please, for everybody seeing the zombies. What is my current sanity, by the way? Your current sanity right now, since you lost six, is 59. <laughs> Thank God, I was 57. I was like, oh shit, you is pass. that fail? I would 67. like to point out... Th hmm? 14. That's pass. This guy has twice Lehman's sanity, so of course I roll 99. Well, <laughs> I rolled a four. Oh God. What did you get, um, Clyker? A four. Well done. So, uh... Nobody loses any sanity, except for Strabinsky. <laughs> eh. Who, fortunately, only loses four. That's good. Just not enough to go over the edge. He just goes, It's just like, what? The man looks to you guys, and seems momentarily confused, and then relieved. Oh, oh! Thank God! I thought I was going to die in here. He's... Your your friend's not looking too good. Uh, you notice that the zombies aren't coming for you. They're just sort of looking. I, I, no, they're they're dead. I I think I've I've had so long to think about it. It's. What are you doing here? I'm hiding. Wait, how old is he? Okay. This man is in his late 50s. Oh, Stravinsky. Please. Okay, how long have you been here hiding? Uh, I don't know. D days. By the way, I've got the elephant gun out. You do have the elephant gun out. Just, I'm ready. It's time. Days. I'm so hungry. But I dare not move in case if I did, they'd kill me. Why would they, like, what are they? Like, I, why, and why did they not kill you? I don't know! Okay, Have they moved at all? Uh, they, they shuffle about a bit, but they don't come to this side of the room. 
See. Are there, can I can I can I make a, can I see any occult wards on the floor? Make me an occult roll. Okay, thirteen. You notice that halfway through the room there is a line of extremely white-ish powder that mostly blends in with the dust, <clears throat> but it's sort of making okay. a, a, a solid line of dust between the the um, the two halves of the room. You notice that this man is on one side, and the zombies are on the other. The dust seems undisturbed. Okay. <coughs> I ask the man conclude, for his name. What do, I, do, do, do I conclude anything, any, any sp- thing specifically occult from this, or just that? All you know, you only notice that. Okay. Perhaps yeah. it's fucking, some sort of white powder. It's some sort of warding powder. You're not sure. Okay. So I, I warn the others not to disturb the powder, and then I say we should probably shoot the zombies. I but, ask the man for his uh, name while we're they here. They are sick men. Which Daniel could treat. The name is. But, Really? There's, there's things there and you're asking me for my name? They're not coming just come, towards us. Just come over here. It's just polio of the body. He is, um... He picks <laughs> something up that was behind him, clutches it to his chest and, uh, comes out. Yep, he comes out, leaving you with a room with two zombies. Okay, zombies what's he got? Anything? What's he got? What, what did he take? He's not showing you. Would it not be a better idea just to shut the door? You <laughs> could yep. just shut the door? Yeah, I mean, they're like, the let, let, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, it's just that it seems like the violence seems a little bit unnecessary if they can't come over here anyway. Exactly. <sighs> All it would take is a random draft and they could leave. Well, what about the, this symbol on the door? Does that not stop them? Do I know if it stops? Uh, it might. It, it might, but are you going to take that chance? I mean, the thing is, no matter what we do, somebody is going to end up in this house. And at some point or another, this house is either going to be demolished or people will be here. And Ugh, then they will Stop arguing. Zombies. Like, stop arguing, I say, as I walk close to a zombie and want to blow his head up with off with a shotgun. No! No! But, but, the, the big... Doing it. G- doing the big grey crab downstairs is you shooting it, it with a shotgun. Shooting the I'm, head I'm off. gonna take this. T- wait, hang on. Before we do this, can I just ask, where's the man at the moment? The man's not. Uh, the man's sort of in the room, little away from you. He's just examining you. He's clearly haggard and worried. Mm. I'm gonna just motion to the man to just sit down in a chair over there and not move. He sits. He sits by the table. Good. You're shooting the Good. zombie. Well, we shotgun. What uh, age do yeah. the zombies appear to have? If it's discernible. Sort of middle aged. Anything specific about the zombies, like nope. from their hands or anything? What, what did you get, Clyker? What? I ask you to roll shotgun. Oh, sorry. Uh, a 43. Right. I can tell you that you actually managed to blow both of them away with the shotgun. The fuck? <laughs> you just go bang, bang. Can we check their pockets right. after they've been dead? <laughs> if they're wearing any. You that said. is practical. You certainly can. I mean, we're looking for missing people, right? Then it might yep. be an idea to see what, what if these are our missing people. Mm-hmm. So I go over and check them. Yep. What's left of them anyway after uh, these? The only thing that you can identify that's of any value are two wedding rings. Wedding rings. Do they have any engravings on them? They do have engravings on the inside. Which read? Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Oh, for God's sake. That terrible film. <laughs> <laughs> it was a terrible film. <laughs> um, What's that do we one Mr. Brad Mr. Smith? Mr. Smith. 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 We're Smith. Are you, for Smith. Are you saying that name out loud? Yes, I, I read it out This name loud. rings true to the journal that you just uh, read, not minutes before, as a name mentioned in the journal that you imagine might be Daniel's. Wait, hang on a minute. Didn't we have two... two was it two letters with this name in it as well? You had two letters with the name Smithy. But oh, Smithy. Smithy. Okay. Is there anything else in the room that we can see? No. Then it wasn't I who read the journal. It was Violet. It was yeah, Violet. It was, me was, she, was she near shot? Of... Uh, uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm looking at the zombies. So I wanted them to get killed, so I'll be with you, yeah? Yeah, uh, so you, you heard me say that we read out the name then. Edward. Yes. A door downstairs is opening. What? It's being unlocked. Are you telling I the rest of the group? Yeah, I mention this to the rest of the group and get out my shotgun. Uh, We're not alone anymore. Guys. Yes? I think you figured out what day the meeting might be. It's today. 
But they just unlocked the door. You should have I mean, gone at this time. What? She what are the chance? <laughs> <laughs> when they unlocked the door, they just minutes ago heard two shots from in there. You don't know how many people there are down there. Uh, out of character, would would the wards block out sound as well? Maybe that's part of the reason. You don't know. Yeah. The first, way, thing is, 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 the first thing you hear is. The first thing you hear is. What was that? I was say, this is an appropriate plot, appropriate moment. The first <laughs> thing you hear is. Cabinet's open, someone's here. I. Then you hear. I, Look ready, people. You don't know who they could be. They sound not American. They sound English, presumably. They do sound English. Well, they are evil. <laughs> Yeah, well, these yeah. these are the, these are the same guys who are causing stirring shit in the UK before what's his face ran them out. Yeah. Weatherby, I think his name was. So before Milton ran them out. Who, who was Weatherhouse? Weatherby? Who was that Weatherford guy? was one Weatherford. of the people responsible for the. Uh, yeah, exactly. The he he ran those fuckers out. He's like, fuck you. I, I I start. I wish to try and find a sensible position where I am hidden from view, but the can see if you, anyone comes up the stairs. The man that's with you looks very panicked about this. He he seems very worried. I'm. Daniel's concerned that he may give us away. Can I try to calm him down quietly? Yeah, yeah. Make me a, a psychology roll. Okay. Nice. Uh, uh, give me a sec. Sorry, I've lost my rolly things. Uh, seventy-two. Is that a pass? Uh, fifty-eight. So no. No, no. You you don't manage. He says that. Um, he he says that. Um, I think I saw a library at some point and. In here, and I'll rest there. Uh, Can we stop him from leaving? Because they might just be outside the door for all we he's know. He's not going. He's just suggesting that he rest there. But the, uh, the noises are coming from uh, downstairs. Nobody's coming up the stairs yet. Strabinsky yeah. would like to sneak out until the ladder, uh, until the the stairs, and sit upside the stairs uh, at the top of the stairs, aiming down, waiting for someone to stick their head in there. Right. Uh I wish to follow Stravinsky because I'm getting tired and I wish to take a nice position just in case someone comes up. Also, he's worried about his school lash. Dip, 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 Sorry. One oh. to six. I mentioned to the group, uh, I said, Gen gentlemen do, uh, and lady, do, are we sure we need to be this worried? I mean, these are people, not these monsters, right? I wish to look at um, Daniel and say, from my experience from breaking into places, the homeowners are not happy when others are here. This is why I carry these real monsters. One There's a the difference between being not happy. <laughs> Stravinsky, make me a luck roll. People are the real monsters. Uh, God help that. Uh, the, 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 the 82. Is that a fail? Uh, yes, yes it is. You see something coming out of the ground in front of you. What is it? Make what? me two sanity checks. Two. Two. 51 and 48, 5. Both passes? Yes. Right. You only lose one sanity point as oh, the thing it's... appears again. It doesn't Go seem on. at Fucking all damn it. harmed anymore. It is fully back to full condition. And Can it I is... see it? Uh, are you outside the room? Uh, well, I assume that we're moving... That I'm... Well, actually, I don't know, to be honest. I haven't no, just... mean, mean you were still in the room, weren't we? With the guy. Yeah, yeah, I think we're in the room, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. So I, was about... <coughs> I was about to leave. Oh, good. Luck roll, please. <laughs> a luck roll, yeah? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. 56. Is that a pass? Uh, my luck is 85, so yeah. You have not yet stepped out of the room, but need to make me one sanity check. Okay, 32. That's a pass. You suffer no sanity loss as you hear the weird inhuman sound. Do you still wish to step outside the room? <laughs> From curiosity's sake, yeah. Right, make wait, me wait, another... Wait, wait, can I hear this? Uh, no, you're a bit too far into the room. Oh. Make me a sanity check. 47. That's another pass. Mm -hmm. Lose another point of sanity, if you would. Okay. <laughs> it's a goddamn monster. Who needs sanity, anyway? It's back. A dinosaur story. <laughs> <laughs> on each other, I'm back. He's back. <laughs> Unfortunately, you also hear this. What on earth was that? It came from upstairs. I'll go check. Huh. Wait. Are the, are the two are the two that seen this monster relaying this information back? I don't know. Are they? I don't know. I'm I'm still in the room and say that thing's back. Okay. Steroid man's back. 
I, I turn to my colleagues and say, perhaps we should find a way out of here rather than getting into combat again. <laughs> right. What is it? Sabinsky is it... very worried about his goulash. Perhaps we can get you some more now. goulash elsewhere. Uh, think... is outside, isn't he? We're not yeah. in the same room. Sabinsky is actually right in front of the monster. Yeah. It appeared he right in doesn't... front of you. There is literally one meter between you and it. It doesn't have much choice. Other than to, uh, I think, jam his bayonet into its fleshy bits in the head and fire. Right, make me a uh, rifle roll, please. Because he's so close with the... Um, <laughs> How much did you get? A hundred! <laughs> oh... <laughs> Fuck me! That's a misfire. Is, that is a colossal misfire. Let Do me you know guess. What? He tries, to, he tries to stab, its skin is too thick, the bayonet slides off. No, actually, what happens no, wait, is... No, I don't know what it is, you, you, you've got the barrel of the gun, so when you fire it, the whole gun just explodes. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> well done! Because the bullet actually does not even penetrate the skin, the gun... Yeah. Your gun, your gun is um, now currently inoperable. That was a Holy very loud sound as well. There is someone up here! Fuck. I'm immediately going to go outside, I think. Uh, outside the room? Yep. Make me a sanity check. 54. That's a pass. You lose another point of sanity. Thank God. And I'm going to shoot it because fuck this fucking fuck. Wait, wait I'm just, just curious to hear. They, didn't, they don't know what that sound is. Does that mean they don't know about the creature? I, I know that sounds like I heard earlier. That's an interesting jump of logic. The people that are in do not know about the creature, the, the sound the creature is making. That's just because we heard them say, what was that noise? That's a good point. That's a good point. Logic would dictate that, yes, they do not know what the sound is. Shame we can't kick the monster down the stairs and let them deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> can we? You <laughs> try. It, it's well, seven how and a bit is, foot tall. I was going to say, how sturdy is it? It's, uh, it definitely didn't skip arm, body, or leg day. <laughs> it did, I, but did, I, but did I skip elephant gun day though is the question uh, it, it skipped head day because it doesn't <laughs> have a head <laughs> I think we should floor it I think we should retreat back into the study Well, I think, I think we should retreat out of the house <laughs> well you, but, but, who, but, who but stepped wait. outside and shot I stepped outside and fired right, fire your gun your elephant gun you're very Five. close oh my god that is a critical success <laughs> Fucking hell, Luke. My god! <laughs> My last four rolls are Re three. Report, reporting DM for bullshit. <laughs> three, <laughs> 13, 55. No. I'll, I'll screenshot this right now. No, three, I'm... 13, 54, and 5. I'm not My kidding. last three his rolls. Skull, his roll is, is 35%. He rolled within a seventh of his skill. It's alright. That is most certainly critical success. I would like you to roll me. Let me get the elephant gun stats, which handily are in fact written in here. Uh, where is it? elephant gun? Elephant gun. Roll me three d six. Nine. Add four. Uh, thirteen. Double it. Twenty six. Boom goes the mound where the eyes are completely gone. Boom goes a bit of the wall, uh, like uh, a, a massive dent in the wall. I'm really quite surprised that my character didn't automatically fail the sanity test because she failed it before. It's kind of interesting that it doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't. Gee, I wonder if Boom they made that. Boom goes this. left arm. Down as goes the creature as it dissolves into goop. I never get any last hits, you fucking <laughs> dick. <laughs> no gold. So. Learn to carry, scrub. <sighs> Bullshit support. At this point, Phil, Phil mod me, mod at me on the channel. Well, at this my... point, with there about to be nasty combat, um, is Luke needing to go anywhere? I I've might do. It depends when Henry turns up, mm. but it's fine. Like I'm, I, I should still be around for a bit. Okay. Maybe like 10, 15 minutes. I will uh, give me a moment. Somebody is asking, <laughs> and uh, we shall carry on then. Uh, two people have yet to make actions. I still do not. I am... Well, well hearing hearing the noise, I already <laughs> come out into the landing at this point. There I is, am... There are monsters for you to see anymore. Can I make... Come, I'll pull the man with me as well. Since he's here. The man comes willingly. I hold my shotgun ready for whoever comes up the stairs to find, to follow the source of the ah, noise. That That's a handy thing to do, because the first thing that comes up is a man in a jacket with a hat on and a gun. 
I fire without hesitation. Shoot. Okay, shotgun. 24. Hope to the Lord that isn't a police officer. Roll me your damage. <laughs> that will be 46, please. 46, that'd be a 4. Mm -hmm. A 1. Mm -hmm. A 5. Mm -hmm. And a 3. That man used to have an upper part of his body. <laughs> Like, there is, like, basically where his lungs are is a big hole, and he is dead. He died. Or if he's not dead, he will be very soon. And somebody says, Order God, Jimmy! <laughs> that guy's American. There's more than one of them. Yeah, the other I... ones have not come through yet. Uh, so, actions go round. What you then hear is words you're not going to like. Mm. No, my goulash. Do we have any grenades left? My goulash. Uh, well, I don't think we, we haven't heard any that. dynamite yet, but that's I still not, got the dynamite. That's not one of your people asking that. Oh, sorry, I thought you just asked me that question. No. Like, Some, one, of, one of them is asking somebody else if they have any grenades left. Who hears that? Um, what are our escape options at this point, boys? Is the first thing we should think of, I think. <laughs> I would say we go, disturb the chalk, jump out the window. Get out of a window, Sam. It works. There's no point to disturbing the chalk anymore, is there? Because the zombies are dead. Oh, yeah. I'm going to light the dynamite and throw it down the fucking stairs. <laughs> as, yep. as you do that, let's head to the nearest window and see if we can get out safely. Someone yeah, has exactly. already beaten you to it, and the man that is with you has dived out of the window. Oh, well, there we go. Well, let's follow him, then, if it's safe. Let's just check see what we're landing on. Thud. Uh, he is landing on solid pavement. Oh, can we, is he can alive? We... That is a good question. <laughs> uh, if ha We're one story up, aren't we? You are. Yeah. I take off my coat, brush off the glass mm -hmm. of the window that he's just smashed through, and uh, drop, like hang drop, off. You're hang dropping off. Ah, that's a, that's a good decision. You hang drop off. Okay. Uh, make me a... Uh, I need you to make me a skill roll, actually. Uh, can you make me a jump roll? What's jump? Do I have... 25%. Ugh. Alright, uh... Four. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you know now how to jump. <laughs> I backflip out of the window, land on my feet. Da -da, da -da. You get a tag on jump. You only take half the damage of half of what you could have took. That guy that jumped took two d six. Wait, you why take... do I take any damage? If we were only one story up, that if you drop down, we use, if you you're, actually hang and drop, your you're landing only four feet from the ground. Your landing's still not exactly perfect, and there is glass. Oh. You only perfect. take one point though. Oh, okay. Like it's like oh my legs. Well, can I fix myself up afterwards? Actually? You will be able to, yeah. <laughs> That's um, right. What's where's everyone my... else doing? Is it... Where's my health? Uh, hit points. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else making actions? I, I, was, I was going to throw the dynamite down the stairs, then jump out the window as well. You're throwing the dynamite? Yep, throw the dynamite. Make me a throw roll. Okay, let's do this thing. The throw is actually a skill. Uh, 22. I'm going to check if that's actually a pass. Would you believe that is a pass? <laughs> yes! Oh. Yeah, I would, actually. Luke and do. Uh, I'm, going going to, no. I'm going to post you. Throw, you click, throw. click the screenshot in Skype. Fucking click that shit. Throw is 25%. <laughs> Second. Ring, ring. That <laughs> might be Henry. As the dynamite goes through the air, phone rings. Like, what, are you, what is the rest of the people doing, including Jack Clyker? Uh, Leave it, oh. Follow Daniel out of the window. Are you just jumping out? Climbing out? Like, you already make jumped out. Jump I'm check. just like... I'm, I'm not jumping, I'm like basically like... You still like... need to make a jump roll. Okay. Uh... Where's the roll? There we go. Uh, 77. Right. You don't ready yourself as well as he did. Hello. But Hello. you still only take two points of damage. Okay. okay. <laughs> and... So you've thrown dynamite and you're jumping out the window, are you, Violet? Uh, yes, I am as well. You're just jumping straight out. Roll. I'm just jumping straight out. You're I'm just jumping straight out. Excellent. Uh, make me a jump check. <laughs> co 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 ro go with me, wizard's dice roller. 
69. Well, it's a good number anyway. That's not a pass. <laughs> Splat. That ain't a pass. You land far more unceremoniously than the rest, but I need to make rock rolls for the people that have already landed. Oh, you don't land on Daniel. Yay! But you do suffer eight points of damage as you land on a solid pavement and glass. That's a twisted oh. ankle. <laughs> eight? It's like a gaping hole in you. Still got seven hit points. He's got as many I'm... hit points as Dunning actually had health. <laughs> That's yeah, bad. I know. He's got there's two like... Dunnins worth of health. There's Dunning in a glass. Lastly, but by no means leastly, Strabinsky. Wait, what about me? What? Well, I suppose uh... we'll deal with you afterwards. Yeah. Well, you could probably just hand drop off two feet. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much could. I'm so lanky. So, um, <laughs> are you, what are you doing, Strabinsky? Well, they threw a grenade up, right? Uh, they haven't thrown a grenade up no. yet, but a, p a dynamite has been thrown down. It's time to leave. Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, he jumps out the window. You just jumping straight out? Well, no, hand dropping. Hand dropping? Jump check for me, please. Fail. How badly? 58. That's not too bad. You suffer two points of damage. Yeah! I might explode like I'm my phone. What about, um, what about, uh, done, uh died? No, oh, as soon as I see the freaking dynamite, I do, I follow suit and hang drop out. Hang drop out, jump check. Do I need it with my ridiculous height? Yes. 24. Most solid ground over That's probably there. how he got in there, he just Take reached no point to the There's also glass, don't forget, on there. Oh, yeah, I assume yeah. you're wearing shoes, mind you. Yeah, but if you fail this, you don't drop so much as you lose your grip and fall. Oh, I see. Um, so you all doing that. Um, there is a downside to you all mostly hang um, hand dropping and Strabinsky jumping and Violet jumping so late, is that the other man uh, gets to act quite a bit before you do and is running. Uh, since I landed well, can I start chasing after him? If you want, why would yes, you want I to? Do. Yeah, stop because him. he took something from the room that we saw, and I want to know what it is. He did, you're quite right. So I'm chasing after him. You're chasing after him. Okay, um, this is going to be interesting, what the rest of you are doing. Just, just as Andrews, before we continue, I assume he'd been locked up in a room for multiple days without moving, uh -huh. sitting down. He's not going to be able to run very well, is he? You presume. Well, no, we shouldn't be able to, unless he's, like, got legs out of metal. You've seen a seven-foot-tall creature with stone skin. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are the rest of you doing? Has the dynamite exploded? Um, yeah. No. Okay. Uh, I run away from the building I... because I know the dynamite is going to explode. Yeah, exactly. I'm moving away from the building. Yeah, I keep, I keep a safe distance, but make um, keep a lookout for any... Um... People did I did I, did I tell them I was setting off the dynamite? I don't think I did. No, but they saw the dynamite. <laughs> no, they saw it. Saw you, <laughs> you, you weren't, you weren't like, guys, don't like me. Just subtly roll it, and everybody uh... just stands there while you go bye. So um... Shabitsky grabs the nearest working rifle from one of the other people and shoots the guy in the leg that's running away. Ooh, right. Um, nobody bought rifles. I have an elephant gun. Yeah, they you bought an elephant <laughs> please, gun? Please don't shoot him with an elephant gun. Uh, and the elephant okay. gun still has one shot left. 74. Out of? 85. 85. With the elephant gun. Leg, please. Maybe toe? Since it's the <laughs> elephant gun? Actually, yeah, actually you fired two shots with the elephant gun, haven't you? Oh, no, I fired one shot. The, 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 the first time I just ran away like a coward. Yeah, it's true. It's an over and under. Right, I want you to roll me damage. Please, no. <laughs> oh, God. Please, roll me, uh, <laughs> roll me 3d6. Bear in mind, we're on but, the street. But it, was just, it was just a leg. Roll me 3d6. <laughs> 11. <laughs> Why would you Plus fire four. Them? God, what's wrong with you? <laughs> 15. <laughs> he's not dead. Yes! Well. In actual fact, he seems completely unharmed. What? What? <laughs> The bullet seems to um, hit something before it hits him. What a cunt. Now, the only person who's actually engaging in a chase chase, and this is going to be quite interesting. Um, <laughs> like what's your con? My con. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, 11. Well, what we're going to do is we're doing a... Um, opposed race of endurance pretty much this isn't speed this is endurance okay 
because um, you have 12 decks and this guy is the same decks. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll D100 and this okay. is against con times 5. Kiko, just quickly, I pretty much have to go now because no restaurants will be open at this time. That's... So I'm heading off now. You're heading but off. You can continue to play my character we'll at the end of the session. We'll conclude this. It, this is basically going to conclude in a moment. Okay, cool. In that case, it's right. just my so, uh, if, if you need to make any decisions, make sensible ca decisions my yeah, character yeah, would yeah, make, yeah. such as off, being retarded yep, and touching a card off, objects. Off your toodle. <laughs> See you later, Kiko. Good luck. So, 31 I rolled. 31. Bye, babe. He passes as well. Now, you have to make a con times 4 check. Uh, fail. 68. 68. He rolls a 7. Oh, well. <laughs> you are doing pretty okay until you get a cramp. You get about 100, 150 meters. You're actually doing a, a flat-out sprint. And you go, Argh! it's like you're, you're just not used to running this much. Your leg goes into a cramp. Also, you just jumped out the window. True. And you just jumped out of a window. He darts into an alleyway. Although, he has dropped something. Can I pick up what he dropped after I uncramp my leg? He's dropped the book. Unfortunately, no, I... as soon as you pick up the book and try to examine it, there is an explosion from inside that house. If I shoot Daniel now, will it bounce off? Can we test you it? You can't see him. Aw. He's darted into an alleyway. What do you want to shoot me for, you jerk? When you guys what? get the there... Book? When you guys get there... Um, I take it you're looking in the alleyway? Oh, uh, yes. It's a dead end and he's completely gone. Of course he is. This is, uh, like, big wall. Gone. What's the book? Well, just as the explosion is going and you hear screams from inside the house... Daniel regresses back to World War One briefly. <laughs> yes, I will, uh, I will end the, uh, the session by saying that uh, when I get to the section, because I have written this down, that this book is called The Morticus Volume 1. Okay, I'd like um, to point out that Stravinsky doesn't look at the explosion. By a man named Nathaniel Weatherford. Isn't that a name that that, that is Weatherford known? is certainly a name yeah. that you know, but not Nathaniel. And with a violent explosion behind you that you will need to deal with. I'll probably forget. Yeah, and I'll put, I'll just put the book yeah, in my we um, will, possession. We will leave that there on that cliffhanger for them to oh, deal with. I'll put that on my my bits. So people. That, what, was it what was it called, sorry? The Morticus, Volume 1. M-O-R-T-I-C-U-S. Okay. And with that, we will call it there. I am Kukoskia, and that was Nobody Dying. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yay! Considering what yeah. happened there, that's quite, that's quite I, a feat, I think. And the roll call from everyone else as they say goodbye. Bye-bye. Sorry, Dax. See you later, guys. Goulash says bye. bye. The goulash is destroyed, I'm afraid. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the very least certainly got rubble. Goulashy! The very least certainly got rubble and bits of personal. I'll catch you all later. See you then. Bye bye. bye, -bye.